We have let Islamist extremism into Britain, we've let it fester, and now we've let it win. Our absolutely spineless surrender merchant political top brass are rolling over while government ministers wear stab vests and quit their jobs in fear. Veteran Tory minister Mike Freer has had death threats from Islamists as well as an alleged arson attack on his office. The motive there has still not been established. He's standing down because he doesn't want to die. I cannot emphasise how important this is. A minister of the government is quitting his job because he doesn't want to be killed by a lunatic jihadi. And our Prime Minister has said absolutely nothing. Nothing. A spokesman for Rishi Sunak said he was saddened. Is that it? Our Prime Minister should have been out on the steps of Downing Street saying that we will not be intimidated. We will not let this continue. Enough is enough. What does he do instead? He tweets about XL bullies. Yeah, fantastic. Where's Keir Starmer on this? Well, he's conducting focus groups on how to get the Muslim vote back, so he's hardly going to come out all guns blazing, is he? Ed Davey? Well, there's no way a Liberal Democrat leader would come out and admit that his ideology has helped turn Britain into a poster nation for multicultural failure. The police have let protesters, which include rabid anti-Semites, rampage around London every flipping Saturday for the last three months. And today, they are finally saying that they don't support some of the protests which in the past have included a now-banned terror group and people holding up anti-Jewish signs. They're saying, please don't march down Whitehall. All right, but will you do anything to stop them if they ignore you? I doubt it. The genie is out of the bottle. This is like when Sajid Javid was Home Secretary, all right? He should have turned the first migrant boats back in the Channel, and now we wouldn't have a problem there. Politicians and police should have clamped down on jihadis immediately instead of being too scared of being called Islamophobic to act. I honestly cannot believe that we have sunk to the level where a serving minister stands down because of threats from extremists and our prime minister just doesn't feel the need to address it. Neither does the leader of the opposition. Former immigration minister Robert Jemrick has been very strong on this. He said, it is shameful that an MP has been intimidated out of office. Our political discourse should improve. But the far bigger problem for our liberal democracy is virulently anti-British Islamist extremism, which is both deeply homophobic and anti-Semitic, and in this case, violent. The ideology has to be confronted and comprehensively defeated.